What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Yes. Hello. I am Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. Every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We kind of talk about what's going on in our lives week. And sometimes we do surprise, surprise live streams. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we were just filming keto on the couch yeah and uh rachel said to me hey you know today is christopher's son's birthday sawyer sawyer like one of our favorite keto youtubers yes he is one of my very favorite content creator sawyer i mean i like slap a stick too but right. like his kids are super mega ultra cute and it's sawyer's birthday and we were gonna do a product review of uh, something that was sent to us we didn't ask for it but this they stuff. sent it was keto 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 i'm enjoy delight and peanut, peanut butter, butter chocolate and chip. it just seemed like a kid thing yeah and christopher is actually brilliant at coming up with desserts that are fun for kids and something that they can enjoy okay. and we thought well this seems kind of desserty too so you know we get we can't be at the birthday party because today is his birthday party right. but like we can at least like enjoy something that's a treat hopefully enjoy it we don't know we've never tried this before well i think before we do that but, we have to we have to use that balloon there yes we do because he's probably at his birthday party so he's probably not going to be in here but we're going to have to yes sing yes because and we had some balloons left over from when our nephews were having their birthdays and like quarantine life and we couldn't be you know you had to like put them on top of the house right so we had this left over and i thought well let's like sing happy I don't birthday have helium, though. i only have an air compressor so yeah, but it's perfect because like helium would be floating up. We use what we've got, right? right? We make do. So I, I know he's probably enjoying his birthday party right now, but we just there he to is. Oh wait, Sawyer is a better YouTuber than me. Yeah, there you go. I've, I've had that keto keto in my cabinet. His birthday party is in twenty minutes. I'm picking up stuff. Oh, we'll share uh, we this wanna, with we, them. Well, we're gonna you're gonna have to share it with them because we're gonna sing Happy Birthday to Sawyer. Yeah. So here we go. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sawyer. Happy birthday to you and many more. And I'm looking on here and it's still many, got- Many, many more. It's still got our live stream thing from Saturday. Yeah, sorry. Or from Thursday, so I took that off. It was, a, not there anymore. It was a surprise impromptu we Literally thing. like throw this together right now. But we were just really excited. You know what? Christopher is not throwing together the birthday party. He's got it planned out. He is a planner by nature, which I yeah. think is awesome. And I'm not so, me. <laughs> I'm so excited for, for Sawyer because he's going to have a great birthday with his awesome dad and probably Probably the greatest gift that Christopher has gotten Sawyer is health. Health. Dad being healthy and mom being healthy and getting to like enjoy just running around. I mean, I remember this past Halloween, he dressed up for Halloween and mm -hmm. it was just a really fun experience. So thanks to all the moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles who are getting healthy, not just for yourself, but you're doing this for your family and the kids in your life. And it's just gonna mean so much to yeah. them. So, but we did wanna try this keto. Yeah. So we figured why not? Which one are we doing first? Let's, I'm gonna, well, peanut butter chocolate, I feel like is gonna have a very strong taste. Well, let's go with Almond Joy first, cause peanut butter will wipe out Almond Joy, but yeah. not the other way around. Let us know down in the comments, have you ever tried this product before? So Slap a Stick is saying that- He's um, had it. That he's, that he at least has it in the, um, in, uh, in Chris said, I kind of wanted my birthday just to hear Joe. Aww. Well, I can't type. Uh, so, okay, so we're gonna try this one first, right? Once okay. open for freshest flavor, use within 30 days, best at room temperature. Now, it's- Two net carbs. It's interesting, because it's not like the normal consistency- It's not peanut butter? Of like nut butters that, you know, that have good ingredients, where it's like just a slime fest of water. I'm not seeing that. It really is it like, like, a, cookie dough. like a dough consistency. Ooh. Oh, wow. It, it really, wait, let's see. Ooh, yeah. could it you is. make it into a ball? It's like, like, like Heath did and anybody Shelley's? see Heath and Shelly's live stream last night? It was night. awesome. Like, it was borderline like R rated. Yeah, I know it was get, it was getting to, yeah, like that's to Rachel cool. level. That's I loved it. Cool. 
Christopher said the chocolate chip is what I've had. Definitely a planner here. You know what happens when I plan things? It never, like, I planned on five videos today. We've gotten one done. We did. And then I get disappointed. So I need to go back to my old thing. I don't Ooh. plan. And then it when I accomplish like, something, it's awesome. It definitely smells like coconut. And, and our house is not, like, super cold right now. And the fact that it's not getting all weird like coconut oil. Wow. Mm. Wow. It's like a cross between peanut butter and almond joy. It tastes like a cookie dough mouthfeel. It's a little grainy. But I think that's the coconut. Coconut flour, probably. We'll find out. Okay, don't look at the ingredients yet. We gotta try this one. Oh, okay. And I'm just going in. I'm not even like mixing it around. We haven't even eaten yet. This is like the this peanut. Is, this is, this is this, we're this breaking, is our breaking our fast. fast. All right. I like that one. Peanut butter. I mean, it's pretty much peanut butter, but thicker. You know, like what you're used to. Peanut butter flavor, mm -hmm. but not peanut butter texture. It's good. Like a cookie dough texture. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. Want to do five things? Five things live, right? Five things live. So no graphics. Five alive. So if you've never seen us before, we do all our reviews on five things. We talk about the ingredients, so the keto, um, how much? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I feel like we went to 27. I have to leave for a game in Miami in like an hour. But so. first you have to cook me some bacon. Hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. Ingredients, almond flour, which is blanched almonds, mm -hmm. extra virgin coconut oil, ghee, butter, chocolate chips, ghee. which is made with unsweetened dark chocolate, inulin, and erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower less than vanilla extract, and stevia. Organic MCT oil derived from coconut, almonds, coconut, erythritol, sunflower lecithin, than almond extract, coconut extract, monk fruit extract, and Himalayan pink salt. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was so worried. <laughs> Me too, because it's very tasty. Because obviously this is a little company. Yeah. And like, I was worried because we I did not purposely look at the ingredients and like we try not to bash small companies. No. We just choose to not do a video at oh, all. Oh my gracious. It actually has Jeremiah 29 11. On, on it so it's like yeah i'm so Romans glad that's eight twenty eight. <laughs> how sweet like this is awesome so i'm really glad it's okay good. so ingredients we don't Fantastic. have to even do both yeah these like you could make this at home like this is some of the best ingredients i've ever seen in a keto product their peanut butter is roasted peanuts and salt that's it which is what peanut butter should be okay does it keto based on a nutrition label i'm about to eat this whole thing <laughs> Okay, so there's 10 servings in here. Is there though? Two tablespoons per serving. Mm -hmm. So we haven't even had a serving between the two of us. That makes me good, happy. 200 calories, 19 grams of fat, four grams of protein. You ready for this? Okay. Three total carbohydrates. Wow. And then less, and one sugar alcohol and less than one gram of sugar. So it is literally two net carbs, but three total carbs per serving. So, so this one, one and a half total carbs per spoon. Wow. So this one is um, two tablespoons is a serving, 200 calories per serving, 18 grams of fat, six grams of protein. Um, let's see, seven total carbs, but remember this is peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Then you have four grams of fiber and two sugar alcohol. So yeah, one net carb. Wow. But seven total carbs isn't terrible. No, and again, it's peanut butter. Peanut That's butter. Why. So. Uh, looking online, just see so, so you know, they have chocolate chip, peanut butter chocolate chip, almond joy delight, mocha java chip. Ooh, I bet that's snickerdoodle. Good. Ooh, peppermint mocha. That would be really good. Peppermint so, mocha. I'd have to try snickerdoodle. So we did one. We did two. Three. How does it taste? They taste really good. Really, really good. We're gonna. We want to get to the chat, so we're gonna blow through that. Yeah. Number four. How much does it cost? It says on this label, once open for freshest flavor, used within 30 days, and it's best at room temperature. Yeah, $14.99 in a jar. Okay. That's not bad. $14.99 Reminds jar. me of that, the, the um, what's the one where it's like all of the different, like Nut Zero. Yeah. Where it's got like, you know. Slightly expensive, but really good clean really, ingredients. Really, really tasty. And it's like non-refrigerated, lasts for a month. Refrigerator lasts for six months. It does say for eating, not baking, enjoy it by the spoonful. Yeah, uh, that that will be no problem. This will not be a product that you will hand off to mom. No, it will uh, not be. We are keeping this one. Like, sorry Absolutely. mom, we sometimes like hand off products after we eat them and because like we'll be we share. eating the whole thing so we share them with the family, not being we shared. We will not be sharing this. Not being shared. So number five, would we recommend it? Yes. 
I like them. It's really good, and it's a small company. Thank you very much, Chris. There's an, there is a link for it down below. Thank you. We are not affiliated with them. No, we're they not. They just messaged us, said, would well, we like to try it, and uh, didn't even know that they were a Christian company. Yeah, God bless you, Keto Keto. We really like it. So, you want to read some graphics? No graphics, graphics and no comments? middle finger gel. You mean comments? Yeah. Oh, You're going to yeah. read graphics? Uh, Chris said, miss the health at Heath and Shelley show. Miriam decided she wanted to go to Texas Roadhouse, but not until 515, Ooh. which meant we had to wait until like seven for an open table. That's when I walk out. It, okay, there's no way I that you wait. have the patience I, I necessary to wait. to wait for that. I, I'm horrible that way. But I, I will. Okay. So let me make an addendum to that though. If I, I want more of that. I know. Right. If I am absolutely in the zone that we are getting Texas Roadhouse, then there is no dissuading me though. So, I mean, you may not want to wait, but you can go home and come back, but I'm staying here until I get my Chris my is saying steak. we're overexposed. Oh, am I like blown out? I'm super pale already. Oh, that? no, that's too much. Now we're in the dark. There we go. All right. We're gonna, no. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm, he brought it up. Okay, now he, you're totally obsessed with it. I, that's right. Let's see what everybody's up to. What are you doing on this Saturday? Are you at a birthday party like Christopher is planning? Or what are you doing with your Saturday? Are you grocery shopping? It's a big day for grocery shopping. Now, now I'm concentrating on that, you know? Like, so go yell at Chris. Okay. Christopher said, gotta get back to finishing up the party food. Gonna play this for Sawyer later. Awesome. Aw, awesome. Have okay. a great day, Sawyer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jenna said, thank you, Chris. Lori said, be sure to like the video. Thank you. Uh, Laura, sounds like this would make a good mix for keto chow ice cream. I'm thinking that would be really yeah, good. Yeah, if you want to have like, you know, like a cookie dough ice cream to mix this in, like little tiny balls inside of, of that, that would be to sprinkle within it. And it would probably, it would probably handle an ice cream maker. You could just drop a couple That's in what I'm thinking, yeah. while it's mixing. We're gonna, That'd be really that good. That might be dinner. That might be dinner. Chris said, we did the waitlist thing on the Texas Roadhouse app, so we didn't have to be there until it was time. I didn't know that's a thing. I did not know that's a thing either. Chris has all of the insider information to Texas Road. Do you work for Texas Roadhouse, Christopher? Maybe. I'm, just, I'm, I'm still thinking, I can't get over you calling him Christopher. I know, sorry. <laughs> well, Chris. Well, is it Chris or Christopher? I'm assuming it's Christopher. Is Look, it the whole thing? Liz said, spring break staycation with the kids. Going to try a new board and video game. Okay, you have to share, Liz. What is the, what's the board game? Because I am always in the market for new board games. Now, we, I, I should mention this. We have um, another Instagram account for our Two Crazy Campers channel. Yep. And on that, in the highlights, I've been trying to upload some low-tech games and activities that people can play in a campsite. Because a lot of times, Families who are normally not campers get to the campsite with their children and there's no electronic devices that they could use because maybe there's no internet and they're kind of like, well, what do we do now? Right. I don't know what to do to play a low tech activity with the kids. So if you go over to our Instagram account, the two crazy campers, um, you can find some suggestions. And if you have suggestions for games and low tech activities that you like to play with your kids or grandkids, send me a message because I would love to include those in a future highlight. I'm just realizing, so I surprised Rachel yesterday with, we're going to the Keys next week. Bahia Onda. We're going to Bahia Onda uh, State Park. It, I've got a it's, surprise. It's a place that like, it's a year in advance to get in and I was able to slip ourselves in. So I'm like, okay, dropping everything, we are going. It is actually spring break for public schools. so. There may be a couple of public, uh, private school lacrosse games, and I'm telling the signer, ah, uh, no, I'm going to the Keys, and we're gonna get some videos for Two Crazy Kitas, not for Two Crazy Campers, right. but Rachel trying to do a stand-up paddleboard for the very first time. I'm, we have them sitting in the garage. Pray for me, y'all. Like, so seriously. We're excited. We got two inflatable stand-up paddleboards. I'm and not And neither one of them balanced. has been stand-up stand paddleboard I've before. never been on one before. Hopefully it's not, like, rough. I hope I don't crack my head. Gracious. <laughs> so, um, speaking of camping, we were gonna be going back to Porky's for those pork rinds. Oh, yes. we can do that. Yes, we will be. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, I already had that planned for you. Oh, I didn't know that. $5 a basket for like fried pork belly fresh. Yes, we are going back there. Okay, well I was gonna say, since the keto cruise got canceled, um, two things. Autumn is having Keto Palooza. As of this morning, there were only 10 tickets left. A lot of us from Two Crazy Ketos are going. So if you're interested in meeting Autumn, yeah. or Heath and Shelly, or myself, or Rachel, us? or Chris, 
or um, Renee. I think Christopher is going. Yeah. As, as, as of this morning, there were only 10 tickets left. It's going to be in Louisville, Kentucky in September. So go get your ticket or you minimum get hotel. Get on the wait list for the tickets if they're already sold out. But also, the towards the end, of, we're going to put some information onto our Facebook group. As soon as we know, I'm going to nail down the exact dates because it's kind of like I'm making it up and then telling Rachel, guess what? We're leaving. Yeah. Um, we're going to drive to New York the, probably somewhere around the 23rd or so of April. So 23rd after to Easter. 25th. Yeah, right after Easter. We're going to go to New York. We're doing a three-day drive up, three days there, three-day drive back to go visit my mom. We're taking the RV and we're gonna make a couple of stops. One probably in like South Carolina area and one probably in like the Pennsylvania area. So if you were in those two places. So we're thinking about maybe doing like some kind of like a coffee kind of meet and greet or something in those areas. So go ahead and message us if you're in those areas and you're interested so we can start planning our our 1200 mile trip at $3 a gallon in a vehicle that only gets eight miles to a gallon. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. I'm I'm excited about spending a thousand dollars on fuel. I'm not worried. I'm not (laughs) worried. It's totally worth it. Uh, Chris put up the Keto Palooza thing. Thanks. Awesome. Nancy said, just finished up a late lunch of roast beef that Ooh. melts in your mouth. Looking to buy more keto bread. Yum. There is a link for keto bread. Okay, down so now below. I want roast beef. I... But we got to wait for people to find us. We're I'm... hiding. We're hiding. Like an Easter egg. It's really weird. We have like, it's, I don't know, it's like 700, 800 megabits per second speed. Look at that, 709 megabits per second, yet we got a buffer and like yeah. something happened. Yeah. So we're gonna wait for people to come Hello. back. But unfortunately, oh wait, I might be able to actually see, I can read the old comments still. Oh, oh, that's nice, all right. Okay. Go back and and, and read some comments. Um, oh, Cece's mama says, I uh, love the shirt. Oh, thank you. Everything we Walmart. do know, we learned from Sesame Street, just about. Yes. Just about, being kind, our numbers. I still do you count sometimes and still hear the count? Like I will I will what? look well I will see like we've only got five eggs left uh-huh. and it'll be like five, five eggs, one, oh, 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 oh. Chris said only my mother calls me Christopher and only when I'm really, really in, in trouble. trouble. I get called Rachel Christine when my mom is really about to jerk a knot in my tail. Okay. I mean I'm, I'm gonna read the old comments and then come back. Cause okay. then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we'll delete them all and like re-blend it all and make upload it as a new video. You know a kid's birthday party never goes exactly as planned. Jody said my first 32 hour fast, just ordered my first keto chop, very excited you guys. So cool, what did you order, what flavor? Uh, Liz said Forgotten Waters Private Adventure Game. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Yep. Let me know if it's good. Oh, so back to what we were saying. Uh, Chris said Sam's Club has really nice, it jumped. Tents. Oh, really nice tents. Yes. Okay, so what we were saying is we're gonna make that drive up. I'm excited about that drive and we wanna do some meetups with different people. Uh, so Chris put up the new stream. Thank Chris is so awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. Chris is really good. Okay. Casey Smurf is here. It says that they've always been allergic to um, cats and that's why they're a dog family. Oh. My my brother's Rachel the same mentioned way. wanting another dog the other day, and I was like, um, not a good idea. Chris goes round two, fight. <laughs> They're well, back. Thank you. Uh, Chris put a link. Oh, oh we'll say it again. If you were in the Allentown area, I'm gonna try to be there. Oh. Um. Hey, Oval. Yeah, I just gotta look at what our like. I gotta plan the route because I used to go to Long Island, which was just drive 95 straight up, drive through Staten Island. And now we're going up to the Catskills. Just a little different. So I'm going to make a little bit different route. I want to go to Intercourse, Pennsylvania. I do. <sighs> Double the speeds. Up. Oh, Jody got the starter pack for Keto Chow. Oh, cool. I think you're going to be happy with that because then you can, you know, try different flavors. So Listen, like? Rachel, I love your ombre flannel. Oh, thank you. Thrift store, $1.00. 50 cents. Look, I think it's from Justice, which I think is like a kid store, but th- these kids are dressing way cooler than they did when I was a child. Right. When I was a child, me and my brother matched. My mom would be like, let's find a plaid shirt that both of you could wear. It's like, I don't want to dress like my brother. He said, I'm super excited to finally meet everybody in September. Me too. Mary said, do you remember the per- uh the pierogi? The pierogi song? Some, no. From, from Sesame Street. I sung it for years every time I saw a pierogi. 
No, but I'll tell you what I I do also sing all the time that I learned on Sesame Street was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all played games at the ladybug picnic. Remember that song? I do. I do. I think we I think we actually had it in one of our videos. Probably because I love that song. Uh, tell the kid. He said, "Tell the kids to get off of the video games." Again, it's like really weird that, like, I don't know what happened. I totally scared uh, Caleb. He was. Oh my gosh! He yes. was at a teacher meeting um, at church, and he came through the front door, and I was like standing right there, and I was like, "What were you doing this morning?" <laughs> he and you know what? I expect it. I always expect the kids to maybe say like a bad word or something off color, and I loved that his knee jerk reaction was, "Jesus help me!" Because <laughs> I thought, well, that's. That's a good response, right? Better than like crap on a cracker or something like I would probably say. Uh, Chris had just ordered a bunch of the dough. Ooh. Keto dough.com. That stuff is It was really, really good. Really, like I'm I'm impressed by the ingredients. I, was, I really am. It's like I, I get I get so upset when I see a product and it's like, oh here's my thing. Let us stop settling. Let's wait until we see a product that is up to a, the standard that, that we have set. Like this. Yeah. I actually have this from another video, Prime Protein. So we actually been messing with this for two months. It, it actually showed up and we had no idea nope. where it came from. Came unsolicited. It turns out it is made by, I never can pronounce his name right. I want to say it's Dr. Anthony. I just call him Dr. Anthony. It's Dr. Anthony Gustavo. Gustin, Chris is going to tell me if I'm it. wrong. Don't do it. Who's the creator of Perfect Keto. Yeah. He's got this. And uh, this is protein. And um, it's grass-fed protein. But it's just protein. Like, this is chocolate protein, cocoa powder, and stevia. And that's it. So we've been messing with it for a couple months to get extra protein. Just to make sure, and too, that it wasn't going to have any wonkiness to it. Yes. And I was told anybody about back it. and forth, like, concerned about a couple things from the nutrition label. They answered things for us. But we wouldn't. We're like, okay, we want another protein powder other than keto chow for the times that we, sometimes I want more than three drinks a day and I can't drink more than three keto chows a day because keto chow has all the vitamins and if you get too many of them, you're gonna screw yourself up. Well, and some people say, is there any other um, protein powder that you recommend that's, that's not, not milk made with milk? Because they can't have milk protein isolate. Exactly. So, so this is beef. We've been on the hunt to help. but. Again, three ingredients in this. I, yeah. Like, I love that. Like, I am just not settling anymore. And again, comes from somebody within the community. Oh, by the way, if you, we're gonna have a video on this coming out. But for those of you who do use Prime or use Perfect Keto, there is an incredible St. Patrick's Day sale coming up. So don't buy anything until Monday. Yeah, <laughs> don't buy anything. Don't buy until Monday. Take it out of your cart, yeah. don't do so it. There's a really good St. Patrick's Day sale if you need something. Equip St. Pat's sale, he's putting it anyway. It's But that sale doesn't start till Monday. Yeah, it starts Monday. I put it there, but yeah. Um, what is with Rachel? There's no way someone is that happy. Uh-oh, It I am. And a big part of the reason why I'm, I'm this happy is because I've been sad for a really long time in my life. I was listening to actually Maria Emmerich talking um, to Matt from Keto Connect on a on a, a recent uh, video that she had done with him, and I had I didn't I think it was like from two months ago, but I hadn't had a chance to see it. And she was talking about how like she'd battled depression for a really long time, and you think Maria Emmerich? Are you kidding me? That's like the most friendly, like happy, upbeat person ever. But yeah, I mean, before you we got our our diet under control and we're eating foods that promoted mm -hmm. like you know all of the chemicals in my brain messaging properly. Yeah, Start, had depression for a really long time. So it was, and I always love hearing testimonials. Carrie Brown's another one mm -hmm. that's talked about it because I don't think that we take enough time to talk about how uh, keto helps with depression, anxiety, and um, helps mental health, really. Yeah. Um... KC Smurf said, got my type 2 diabetic mom to have her first keto chat after seeing results from me over the months, finally. She said the chocolate toffee tastes like a milkshake. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad about that because I know what it does to your heart when you feel like, okay, my mama is making a step in the direction you know, that I want her to. Mm -hmm. I remember like, I, I was holding my breath mm -hmm. when she, when my mom was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. And I was like, oh my gosh, Joe, because it was so exciting. Right. 
That's awesome. Uh, Blue Dove said, trying to decide if I want daily minerals or just electrolytes. If you can only have one, I highly recommend the daily minerals. Yep. Unless you're somebody like me who is very active and sweating and stuff. So the daily Are you minerals. sweaty like Joe? The daily minerals is a good base, which is why Dr. Barry helped design it's them, all right? about the base. It's, it's, it's a great base, and then you can kind of tack on with your other food throughout the day. The electrolytes are kind of like, you need to just kind of supplement, but you're not gonna get some of the other minerals. So like, if you only get one, I would get the daily minerals. So I use the daily minerals and then I have to supplement more with electrolytes. Like right now, we were actually just talking about in the key on the couch, my calf is cramping up because I ran nine miles yesterday in four hours, like ran, walked nine miles. And uh, it was very hot. We were on an AstroTurf field it was almost 90 degrees on the field and His shoes like, start I to did melt. not get enough electrolytes in me. So I woke up with some crap camping up uh, camping. You, he woke I'm up excited with some to go camping, uh, some cramping in my calf. So when someone's camping in your calf, it's very painful. I don't know if you've ever experienced that before. Chris says he can't type. I can't talk. We had so many edits that I have to work through on keto on the couch because of that. Can you twist your tongue over? Are you that guy? Can you, can no. you barrel roll your tongue? No. Yeah. I think you can. Yeah. You know, that's a genetic thing. Some people can't do it. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, Blue Dove said Rachel is high on ketones. Yeah. <laughs> um, somebody said, I love a quip product. Chris said the quip, the, the quip about Rachel is because someone put that into a stupid yeah. comment that obviously doesn't know Rachel. I, I just, I love the opportunity to, to talk about that though, Chris. So like, I love when you bring it up because yeah. With I, what? When, when um when somebody brings up like why is she happy because yeah it started out as a negative and I, I like the fact that we can kind of bring it to a positive casey said uh if uh you're a fan of pork and good they are having a buy one get one jalapeno packs today I'm, through monday I'm 16 bags for 25 dollars that is my favorite good. flavor it's really good i like i do like stupid hot though i saw somebody put it on instagram they tried um the the tuna casserole that i had re recently um put up as a recipe that that uses the porking good pork rind crumbs in it and it was they they enjoyed it which makes me super happy i love when we can kind of help people find new recipes because i never want anybody to say it's too boring on keto it's not there's so many things out there in right. fact our, I'm just a preview. Our April challenge is going to be talking about. Um, it's going to kind of talk about like all of the different variety there is to keto. Yep. Shannon said, "Y'all confused me. I was questioning what day is when I got the stream." What day is it? So yeah, if you're just joining us, Which this is, a is this is part two. We're gonna we're gonna edit it together and re-upload it as a video. Um, but Christopher hit a pole, slap a stick. Um, one of our subscribers, it's his son's birthday, and so Christopher's been around with us for a long time. If you haven't checked taught out- Taught us how to make bacon. His channel, Slap a Stick Keto, he does a lot of like great review videos. And the videos, kids are on every Thursday. But they make recipes together, his two adorable children, and it, and it's just so much fun. Yeah. And, and Sawyer laughing, when he gets to laughing, like I can't, like it is so cute, like you, I, my head wants to explode. It's, he's so cute when he gets like tickled. Uh, you know, by the way, people are talking about they like Equip. I'm actually excited because I just ordered some uh, of the base powder from Keto Chow. Mm -hmm. So people message us all the time like, hey, I really want to do Keto Chow because I like the whole idea of the electrolytes and the vitamins and everything being mixed into a drink, but I can't do milk protein isolate or I don't want to use sucralose. what can I do? Keto Chow has something called the base powder, yep. which is all of the electrolytes and nutrients without the sweetener without the flavoring and without the protein. And they developed it actually so they can ship it like overseas because it's like really cheap to ship. It's a tiny little bag. We have a video on how to use it, but I'm gonna get some and we're gonna make keto chow with this for people who can't do it like because they can't have milk protein isolate or they don't want sucralose or something like that. But we, it's really cool. We so really, now you're getting a good protein powder, yeah, but still getting all the, all benefits. the benefits of no, it's not that keto chow is a bad protein powder that came out wrong, no. but one that they could have. That they, yeah, because if you're allergic to something, it's like it may be a great product, but if like if you're allergic to to peanuts, right, this may be a fantastic responsibly made product, but you can't have it. Yeah, so, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. So uh, and then you just you have the you have vanilla, you have chocolate, and you have strawberry, or you can use the vanilla and add OO flavors and and have it all that way, and but still get all the benefits of the vitamins and the electrolytes, which is what makes keto chow awesome. Uh, hey, you put it in the description. <laughs> Come at me, bro. 
Um, let's see. Uh, the equip. Uh, so Nancy said I used to work in the morning shift at a restaurant, and one of my coworkers wanted to know what I was on because I always smiled and was happy, even at five in the morning. Yeah, I mean, well, and that's the funny thing too. One of the first things that you know you notice when you're on a keto diet and you start getting fueled by your fat, like you're constantly energized. My mom almost was upset because she's walking Boaz at like five o'clock in the morning going like, I am not used to being up at this time, but I am ready to wake up and I am like present. How is this happening? <laughs> Nancy, um, let's see, Joe Ray said, it's so annoying when people come in on another person's happiness. It says more about them than you. I am excited. Joe Ray is actually going to be at uh, Keto Palooza, so like I get to sing in, in you know Joe Ray Mi Fa So La Keto, but I get to like be there with you. That's very exciting to me. Uh, Debbie wants to know. Oh, she's asking Chris. I was going to say, Chris, can you comment on it? Daily does the daily replace the electrolytes fasting? You definitely, you definitely want to use the daily minerals, um, like co in cooking too, like because it's got a flavor, like it's it's unmistakable the taste of the daily minerals because it's- Whereas the electrolytes are just salty. But these are like, whew, it hits you in all the feels. So um, I like to, we like to squirt it over the hamburger. I say I, like as if I'm cooking all the meals. Joe, in order for me to get my daily minerals in, hides it in hamburger and also on our eggs. And then it just tastes like you've well salted your food. That's right. Uh, Casey said, I'm thinking of two crazy campers. I'm excited to be going camping next week. I know I just, you are. I mean, like lacrosse season, like I, I just want to get back out. It's deep down in your calf. It's deep down, because here's the thing, we talk about it all the time. We are workaholics and we don't stop unless we're not home. Right. I mean, and even there, we're still like filming a video or something, but it's just, it's a different type of working it's, when yeah. we go away. Like we, we're one of those people, like we have to go away to stop and relax. Ray would be like, you know, we could just take the weekend and do nothing. Yeah, right. Like we're ever going to actually do that. Yeah, and I, I mean, if you're that type of person where you're like, I have to disconnect from something in order to relax, like I think that you need to do that then. Mm -hmm. Like whatever it takes because not resting will affect your keto journey. If you're not getting enough rest, if you're not getting enough sleep, that stress builds up and you will find yourself delayed and you're thinking, I need to change my food somehow. Something is is a problematic in my food. No, it's not. It's you need to rest. I'm actually reading a book right now. Um, Miriam has been reading Atomic Habits, which is a great, fantastic book if you haven't read that book before. And I am reading The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And it is an eye-opening, great book if you're looking for, for a book to read, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And it okay. is really speaking into my soul because it's okay to work some stuff out and change the pace of life. And you will actually find that you're you're more productive right. by letting go of some stuff and and reducing your hurry. Uh, Jody said, Rachel, you're like a ray of sunshine. So are you. Shauna said, sorry, that protein powder you shared is a perfect keto multitasking here and miss it. Uh, there's a link for it down below. Um, but wait till Monday if you want to order. Wait till Monday. It, it if is. You can. It is from. It is made by the same doctor who makes Perfect Keto. They're just separate. It's companies. like Aldi and Trader Joe's. Yes. The sister company. And again, nothing. We love. We are doing Keto Chow for the most part. But what I do is I take Keto Chow and then add a scoop of this to up my protein. Right. I want to up my protein. Again. And this is just beef protein. A lot of times people are like, I don't know how to get this protein in. Well, right. when you're making a a shake, you, mm -hmm. it kind of it, it kind of um makes it funner so one scoop of this for example is 21 grams of protein so if you it's do a, a of scoop protein. of keto chow like chocolate keto chow and then a scoop of this uh now you're at like almost 50 grams of protein in a meal so in one shot so if you do that and then you have some chicken in the day no problem got all your protein in and Boom. it's a complete protein fireworks so uh, mary said i thought i had died and gone to heaven when i found out what food i could eat on keto boring restrictive, restrictive? i seriously think not. there was so much stuff that like i could not eat when i was you know dieting and and such small portions it's like that what was that the the thing where it was like the the soup is terrible in such small portions 
it's like that's how it was. The food was terrible and like tasteless and it, and that's how I measured success. Was I sad after lunch? If so, this diet must be working. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I enjoy all of our meals, I've been trying to post more of our meals on Instagram, get a little better at that because right. I usually am terrible. I eat it before I take a picture of Let's it. Let's do a couple more comments because I got to make you food and then get out of here. Yes. Oh. What time am I leaving? My game's at five, Miami, hour. So I gotta leave here by 3.30. And it's 2.16 and you have to feed me. So Karen said, I need a turkey meatball recipe, easy and chicken salad made from canned chicken from Sam's. Oh. We have a recipe for chicken salad on our website. Yes, and also. And I believe you use canned chicken with it. Well, and if you But I throw it together. If you try our Mediterranean meatloaf that you make in like a mug cape type thing, you could probably, you know, make it into turkey meatballs. Mm -hmm. You could change it, yeah, like, it's, you know, the it's form. It's super, like, versatile. Yeah. So here's how I make I make my um, chicken salad, especially from canned chicken, when it's we're in a hurry. I get one stalk of salad. I take a can of chicken, usually two cans because it's the two of us. I take two cans of chicken, and then I take, like, one stalk of celery per can. I chop it up finely. I throw it in there. I dump a bunch of Redmond's organic seasoned salt in there. That stuff is good. Probably like two teaspoons or so. And then I do about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise per can. I mix it all together and that's like my quick and easy. Oh, and pepper, lots of ground black pepper. Yeah, I do that like makes black pepper. It really, really good. If you, we use our own mayonnaise. But we also have one with cream cheese and everything on our res website. Yeah, we do um, make our own mayonnaise. If you have not made Joe's mayonnaise, make that mayonnaise. Right. It is so good. You will never want to get store-bought mayonnaise again. And you can also use it to make Joe's blue cheese if you're like looking for also a salad dressing of mm -hmm. some sort and that or wings. That, that uh, blue cheese dressing is really, really good and uses Joe's mayonnaise. Shannon said, going to attempt your keto chow chili recipe. Wish me luck. Cooking good is luck. A chow. That is probably the easiest thing. You can't screw it's it so up. It's so easy. You can't, as, <laughs> even Rachel can make it. You really it. can't screw it up. I even changed it. I don't even brown the like meat anymore. I now throw the meat into like a big cast iron like pot, like a Dutch oven. I start it cooking. First I do the bacon, then I throw the ground beef in there, and then I cook it for like maybe two or three minutes. Don't even let it completely brown. And then I start throwing all the ingredients and I like kind of let it boil up. So it, you really, you don't have to put You're gonna be awesome. pork in it. It's like sometimes I make it with just beef. It's really versatile. You could not put peppers in it. You could not put onions in there. The key is the keto chow. That's the key. It turns it the, into a delicious meat gravy. Yes, it really is. Sherry said, I love your smile and personality, Rachel. That Aww. is what drew me to your channel. Keep shining. Thanks, Sherry. Uh, Bridget said, are you going to do a new uh, What Are You Eating A Day videos with the new one-to-one? -one? Yes, we were going to do one today, and uh, we got, got late, away from us. We got a late jump filming, so I, we are going, I may even do one tomorrow. I'm thinking I, about one tomorrow. We. I was doing my walk this morning, and I have pinched my toes in my um, in my shoes. I need to get a different walking shoe. I've been using a hiking shoe for it, and it's just not... Like, I, I don't know, it's like for rougher terrain and I need something that is like sweeter to me since I'm mostly, you know, on sidewalk right. and road type material. So if you have any recommendations for a really good walking shoe that, that's super soft and I don't know, like I have, I have toes that just like want to like, I have gnarly toes. So they get pinched. So uh, there's a name I've never any seen recommendations? before. Fixin' to Pray. Hey! Uh, hi from Lakeland. I've ordered three of the big Keto Chow flavors through your channel because of y'all. I love your show. Well, I'm fixing to pray. I love that name. That's so cute. I, I really want to talk about Thank you. May with Keto Chow, but I'm not allowed to. <gasps> Uh, Angie said, I think it is great to see your excitement in everything you do. It is contagious. So keep being your happy self, Thank Rachel. you, Angie. Man, I love you, girl. Like, Angie's been around for, for a really long time. Thanks for just being a part of our family. I appreciate you. Liz said, my 15-year-old son says keto chop magnesium potassium electrolyte drops taste like milk. I don't think so. He loves it, though. You know what? I love that he is into it because that is, like, something that can be kind of challenging to get in your diet. The magnesium. Jessica so. said, Autumn wants you guys to RV to Keto Palooza so she can watch a cross country road trip. I told Rachel about that, but I, and then I was trying to find it in the video and I couldn't find it. And she was like, just tell me already. Because I watch every live stream every day when I'm at work. 
And, and he's like, we, oop, not yet. Oop, we oop. thought about doing an RV trip to Keto Palooza, but then we wouldn't be staying in the hotel. And I wouldn't be in the hotel, I so, think. So, like, I, I haven't really decided yet. I mean, it would be cool to RV because, like, I'm not a plane person. I don't like I've never planes. been to Louisville before. Yeah, I just don't like planes. And it's not a direct flight. There's no direct flight from here to Louisville. So, like, I kind of want to do the drive, but... Yeah. Heath and Shelly were talking about the Louisville Slugger Museum mm -hmm. that's there in Louisville. Is there other things to do in Louisville too? Um, I know Shelly is not a huge baseball fan. So the fact that she really liked the museum made me think, okay, maybe I'll like it because I was like, oh, I, I know it's there, but like, I don't really watch the foosball. Uh, Missy said, new to your keto and your channel, just watched February 1st episode. What were your results of the 30 days of keto chow? Now, so the 30 days of keto chow for us is a religious fast. So we fast the first month of the year, we every love single year. We so we generally food. give something up. For Rachel, it is always food. That's my it's favorite always thing. Food. Um, for me, it varies year to year. One year it was soda, usually it's some type of a food. Um, but I just joined her this year with just complete keto chow. So we um, felt great. That was kind I of mean, the result. We both like lost weight and stuff, but we really weren't tracking throughout the whole thing because it wasn't for like, weight, loss. weight loss or anything like that. But we felt good. And I like the fact that it was able to like sustain us through our plans, you know? And I think that that's a good thing. I remember when like Nisha was just could not keep anything down during her pregnancy mm -hmm. and, and she was using keto chow and it just like helped support her plans. She couldn't keep food down and she wanted to continue getting like her nutrients while she was, you know, pregnant with baby Beckett. So I'm really glad that it, you know, it just kind of supported goals for us. Chris said tags on this video, spam, brand, spam, slicer, spam, spam is keto. You know what it is? Cause I copy, I just like copy streams. I'm like, just use the old settings. So I'm sure like we talked about it somewhere and it just got copied over. That's so funny. Mary said someone in the group today is asking for your ice cream recipe that uses eggs. I looked, I couldn't find it. I don't have one yet. I mean, I have one in my head, but I don't have a video. We need to get it, it out I know. so that we can all see it. I know. <laughs> I know it's just we had two of our officials got COVID or were exposed to COVID. Yeah. And so we lost officials. So the next thing, like I went from like, I'm used to lacrosse season working 13 to 15 lacrosse games a week. This year has been like three. And then all of a sudden, like I'm like doubleheader, games. doubleheader, like next week, doubleheader Monday, doubleheader Tuesday, doubleheader Wednesday. And then he was trying to give me games on Thursday. And I'm like, first of all, I, I, I have a live stream on Thursday night, so I can't do it. And this week I gave back my appointment with Bronson, but I'm supposed to do a Zoom call with Bronson every week as a check-in. And I'm like, I can't next week, I'm sorry, but like, no. And uh, yeah, so it's just been super busy because all of a sudden, like there's a lot of games and I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. Um, so I want to know about Keto Palooza. Chris posted that up. Joe Ray said, go to a running store where they'll video you walking on okay. a treadmill. They'll see how you land on your feet and recommend a good shoe. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking let's about that because I told her, let's go to New Balance. There's a running store in Coral Springs. So let's, let's go, let's go over that. there. Because I don't care how much they cost. Well, because it's every day. You know, it's yeah. one thing if it's something that you're like, you know, I'm going on a trip. My mom, I she's going on um, a trip soon with my brother. And so she just was looking for just a pair of sneakers. And so we were able to go to Skechers yesterday and she got a pair of sneakers, but it's not something that she's using like every single day so it was okay that it wasn't like the best shoe ever um chris said we're flying to cincinnati and indianapolis and then driving now you 120 minutes wow yeah, chris you still need to let us know what all of your plans are so we can coordinate with you because i know we're talking about going in a day early or whatever to hang out with autumn and hang out with chris and also help set up and stuff like that yeah but i need to we need to plan like whatever we're going to do where we're going to stay if we are staying in a hotel I'm so Christy said, Earth shoes are super comfortable and Earth cute, shoes. not super expensive, but great. Okay, quality. I'm going to check those out because Lori yeah. ordered hers from Ortho Feet for my Florida trip this summer. Oh, nice. Carmen had a great hey, a giant breakfast, so giant tuna salad for Yum. dinner and yogurt for the evening snack to make my protein up. That's a great idea. I, I love tuna. Uh, Casey said, D do you guys do much with ground turkey, Joe and Rachel? A bit less calories and fat, but I wonder if it's worth replacing beef sometimes for those of us trying to lose and not at maintenance yet. Um, once in a while, we do have the um, turkey Mediterranean meatloaf. Uh, once in a while, we do. Rachel's not a huge turkey fan. The problem with turkey is it gets dry because it's so lean. 
So if you want to use ground turkey, I did find, was it Jenny O? Is that one brand? Jenny O is really they good. They have an the fat 85% was good. 15 one. It come, we found it in Walmart. It comes in at two. More flavorful. It was a little bit more flavorful. It didn't dry out as much. Uh, so you can use ground turkey. It's hard for me with ground turkey because as a child, we never ate ground beef. My I grew up in the fat is bad, like, you know, in, in the start of snack wells. And I grew up with, you don't eat egg yolks, you only eat egg whites. And I grew up with, beef is bad for you. We almost never had beef. So we ate a lot of turkey burgers growing up as a kid and they didn't taste that good as a kid. So it, it was always hard for me to switch over to ground turkey. Sometimes we do it and, and if I doctor it right, it, it's, a, it's a childhood thing for me. You know, it's like fish. But uh, what we've started doing is 90-10 ground beef. Then you can add the fat you want. Then you can add the fat, but we really enjoy 90-10. We get it from Sam's Club. It's $2.70 a pound for 90-10 ground beef. Yeah. So that, that's what we've been using. I ate mostly beef growing up because my mom was so tired of chicken by the time she was an adult because that's like all they ate because it was the cheapest protein that her family could find. And, you know, she grew up pretty poor. Um, so, yeah, she was just like, I just don't want any more chicken for, right. for my life. So, I mean, she still likes chicken. She likes chicken thighs. She does not like white meat. She loves, like, thighs. I would say don't worry about calories, though. Yeah. We're not worried about calories because we're not worried about protein calories. So, don't. So, I didn't eat chicken a lot until we got married because you were all about the I, chicken. I, because that's how I grew up. I grew yeah. up with lots of chicken. That's so funny. Patty said, I'm watching y'all with my 18-month grandson. He's totally involved in chatting back. Hello. Hello, grandbaby. Chris said, my plans, my plans. I think you mean what Miriam decides yeah. I'm doing and dictates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Says who? Joe from Two Crazy Ketos. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Casey said, I have to look in the ground chicken. I haven't tried it. Yeah, we do do a lot of ground it's very, chicken. It's very cheap, too. Yeah. That, that's the thing I love, too. The turkey and the chicken, if you're, a lot of times people are like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really on a budget. Um, that, that's a great option. We've been eating a lot of chicken breast lately. So what, here's, here's what I do because the problem with chicken breast again, can dry out unless you do it right. So we go to Sam's club, they have chicken breasts. I think it's Purdue, uh, dollar 77 a pound Yeah. for boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We bring that home. I this is my prep. Okay. I take it. I take some Redmond's organic seasoned salt, or I use the or, the Redmond's garlic. It's, yeah. What is it? Garlic and pepper. I think so. Garlic and pepper it's salt. It's really good too. And I coat the whole outside. Sometimes good I'll and I'll spray some like liquid ghee on it, some spray ghee or some spray coconut oil on it. I cover the whole bottom, then I cover the top, and then sometimes I'll get that Creole seasoning, not Lowry's. It's Creole. I have to, I don't have a picture of it, but it's called that. I put it, I put a little bit of that on because I like everything super spicy in the air fryer, 360 degrees for 25 minutes. It comes out crispy on the outside. And when you slice into it, it's like, it's like cutting into a steak that's well rested and yeah. the juices just, just come out. I mean, it, it's is, so good. it is moist. It is like a perfect turkey breast off of a Thanksgiving turkey. I mean, it's just, it's really, really moist. But the key is that 350 degrees and putting all that salt on the outside so it just traps the juices in there. It's so good. And, and again, it's cheap. So it's like $1.77 a pound. It's 2.30 and you need to make food now that you're talking about all of that food. Okay. Um, Stacy said, hi, let us know when you have a good walking shoe. I've been looking for some as well. Yeah, I, I'm, I've got to find it because I cannot with my toes. Chris. Turkey burgers versus beef, Ron Swanson cook off. That is one of my favorite things about Parks and Rec. That is the that is the greatest. That one and the one where Ron Swanson is posted at the front desk and they've made him because he doesn't like to people and they've put him at the front desk and it's on a revolving chair that like turns and this woman is coming up because you know they say like no stupid questions but like then someone's bringing a really stupid question and they say and she said um she says something to the effect of, I know you said we're not supposed to, to drink the uh, sprinkler water at the parks, but I've been making sun tea with it. And now like, I'm going to the bathroom all the time. And he is just turning away from her as she's trying to, and she's just walking with him, like tracking with him. Speaking of going to the bathroom. 
Oh no. Lane said day two of keto chow fast. This morning was moving. Yeah. <laughs> There's some bathroom pyrotechnics. Some of it's magnesium. Yeah, that if you're not used you're not, to getting the right. You probably weren't getting a lot of magnesium. And, and now, now you are. you're getting plenty. Missy said, I love your recipes. Can you air fry the mug cakes? Yes, you can. It's more like it's bathroom with jazz hands. Elaine wants to know how I doctor up bur turkey burgers. Just seasonings. Season, yeah. You know, usually seasonings. Sometimes if you want to make them a little bit fattier, which a lot of people want turkey burgers because they don't want them fattier. Um, I add a little bit of um, like some tallow in there. You get a little yeah, bit of tallow. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And you can put a little bit of that in there. We do that if you with want bison a really sometimes good, too. Yeah, I was just going to say, if you want a really good lean meat, very, very lean, but it is expensive at $10 a pound, and that would be ground bison. Yeah, it's good. Of course, in different parts of the country, it's much less. Like my mom, when she was in Wyoming, it was like that was, she couldn't get beef as, as easily as she could get bison. It was even cheaper there. Yeah. Uh, Teresa wants to know where you can find info for conferences being located. Uh, LowCarbEvents.com. Chris Bear actually runs that. It's kind of like who knows what's going yeah. on right now um, just because of all the things. I know Right now, the only thing I know of for sure is supposed to be next year KetoCon. KetoCon 2022. We will absolutely be there. And then uh, we will, and then we obviously know about Autumn's event in September in Kentucky. But there's not, that's not like a doctor kind of thing. That's more of a meetup. Yeah. And then we're going to do a meetup in uh, northern central Florida, like either St. Augustine, Apopka, kind of Orlando ish area, probably in August. So we're, we're waiting on that. But that's just going to be like everybody get together at like a local state park for like a day or whatever, if you wanna come camp with us, something like that. Basically keep the admission cost to whatever it costs to get into the park. Blaine said- Bring was, your meat. Blaine said it was definitely not safe to fart. Oh no, do not trust that. Do not trust those. We don't trust a toot, especially like if you're if you're starting out keto chow, cause like, yes, jazz hands. Okay, we're gonna get off because I gotta go feed this lady. Yes. Thanks for joining us, guys. We love you. We love you, Sawyer. Happy birthday. Bye.